Hey, what is going on guys? In this video, we are going to learn how to implement ViewPager 2 with fragments. We are also going to set up this back button functionality so that we can go back to our previous tabs. Alright, let's begin. Here we have our basic project template. Now go to the main activity layout file. Delete this text view and we'll put a view pager 2 widget here. Set the width and height to match parent and we'll give it an ID of view underscore pager. Next, constrain the view pager horizontally and vertically to the parent. And with this, we are done with the layout file. Now let's go to the Kotlin file. Here we first get the view pager using find view by ID. Next we need to create a couple of fragments that the view pager is going to show. To do that, go to file, new, fragment, fragment blank. We'll name this fragment page one fragment and click finish. Close the fragment Kotlin file, we don't need that and open the fragment layout file. We'll first delete this text view and change this frame layout to constraint layout. Next we'll give this a nice blue background. And this is what we are going to do with our fragments. We'll just give them different colors so that we know we have moved to them. Now just create two more fragments exactly like this and give them different colors. Now that we have all our fragments, let's put them here in an array list. Alright, so we have the view pager and we have the fragments. Now somehow we need to put these fragments inside that view pager and we do that with the help of something called an adapter. Uh, this adapter adapts our fragments so that they can be put inside that view pager. To do this we create an adapter variable and set it equal to the view pager adapter and we pass the fragments to this adapter. Then we set this adapter variable equal to the view pager's adapter. Alright, now we need to define this view pager adapter class. Create a new Kotlin file and name it view pager adapter. Now in the class constructor we need to write the fragment array list as an input parameter. Now since we are working with fragments in our view pager, uh, the view pager adapter is going to inherit from fragment state adapter which makes things very easy for us. Now the constructor for this fragment state adapter class takes an input parameter which is either a fragment activity or a fragment or fragment manager. We'll pass the main activity as a second parameter to the view pager adapter and we do this with this keyword. Now back in our view pager adapter class, we need to take in this second argument and pass it to the fragment state adapter. Now passing this activity to the fragment state adapter works because the app compat activity inherits from fragment activity. Now since we are inheriting from fragment state adapter, our view pager adapter needs to implement some member methods. Now in the get item count method, we just return items.size. And in the create fragment method, we just return the fragment in our items array at the position index. And that's actually it for the view pager adapter. Now let's run this. Now as you can see, we can swipe left and right and it opens a different fragment. If we want to do vertical swipes, we can just go to the view pager 2 widget in the layout and set its orientation to vertical. 
rerun the app and we can now do vertical swipes. Let's remove this and we are back to horizontal swipes. Now let's set up this back button so that it takes us to the previous fragment instead of just taking us out of the app. Now go to the main activity class and create an override for on back pressed method. In this method we say uh, if view pager dot uh, we can't access the view pager here and that is because we have defined it in the on create method. Let's just define it here as a latent variable and then initialize it in on create. Okay, now let's go back to the on back pressed function. In here, we say if view pager dot current item is equals zero, that is we are at the very first screen, then we let the system handle the back button. Else, we set the current item to the previous index. And that's it. Let's rerun the app. Alright, so we can swipe to the next screens and we can come back to the previous one with the back button. And that's it guys for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.